113 Questions About Evolution with John Perry. Evolutionary question number three. If I were to swap my DNA with a cat's DNA, would I transform into a cat? When I woke up this morning, I was scrolling through my YouTube comments on my other YouTube channel stated clearly, and under the video, what is DNA and how does it work, I found this question. And this is probably one of my favorite questions that I have ever gotten on my YouTube channel. It's a really cool thing to try and think about. What would happen if I were able to just swap my DNA with a cat's DNA? Now, first of all, this would be extremely difficult to do because every single one of your cells has its very own copy of your entire genome, your entire genetic code. So you would have to actually swap out the DNA in each one of your whatever 20 something odd trillion cells in your body, you would have to swap out your DNA with your cat's DNA. And that would not be a very easy task. We don't have the technology to do that. But difficulties aside, what would happen if you did do that? Would you transform into a cat? Sadly, the answer is no, you would not. And the reason for that is that your body has already developed. The cake has been baked. Taking a baked cake and putting it into a new cake pan will not transform the shape of that cake. And unfortunately, that's, that's also true if you were to just immediately switch your DNA with a cat's DNA. Your genome has within it what we call fetal isoforms. These are versions of genes that only exist when you are a fetus, and these fetal genes help guide your body as it's developing. Once your body begins to mature and take its adult form, I mean, and this starts even when you're a child, certain fetal genes turn off and the adult isoforms turn on. And that, that changes slowly as you're going, as you're developing from a fetus to a child, from, you know, again, as you're going through puberty and so on until you become an adult. So these different developmental genes have already been turned on and turned off and they've already been dancing and playing back and forth with each other and creating all these different proteins that interact with each other in different ways to form your body how it formed. Simply changing your DNA now as an adult or as, now I, I don't know how old you are, dear viewer, but if you were just to suddenly swap out your DNA with a cat's DNA, it wouldn't go back and reverse all of that development and then redo it as a cat. So, okay, you get it. You wouldn't actually transform into a cat, but what would happen? Would you start making cat proteins? The answer there probably is no as well. The reason for that is that, you know, humans and cats, we actually share a lot of the same genes, but those genes are in different spots on our chromosomes. And if you were just to take the DNA out of a cell, the human DNA out of one of your cells, and replace it with cat DNA, all of the, sh the cell machinery, all of those proteins and ribozymes and little snippets of RNA that exist in the cell nucleus along with the DNA, they would be lost. It would break the machine, essentially. Because everything's located in different spots, the whole thing would break, the cell would die, and because you just replaced all of the DNA and all of your cells with cat DNA, you would immediately die as well. Okay, so that's not going to work because the protein machinery inside the cell wouldn't recognize that immediately swapped DNA. But what if we just said, okay, cats share a lot of the same genes with humans, but those genes are slightly mutated. There's, there's slight differences in those genes. Here I'm talking about protein coding genes. So what if we were to just swap out the protein coding genes of a cat with the protein coding genes of a human? then what would happen? In that case, I believe that what would happen is that your cells would start using those genes and making cat proteins. And that might sound cool, like, oh, maybe I'll get some special abilities, maybe I could see better in the dark or something. Unfortunately, what I think would happen is that your immune system would go nuts and start attacking all of your own cells. You would die almost instantly of a horrible autoimmune disease. The reason for that is that these cat proteins are slightly different than human proteins and your immune system would see those as foreign objects and attack. And this would happen even if the immune system had its genes replaced with the cat genes as well because it's already been trained to recognize your body proteins as appropriate proteins and all other proteins as invaders. So you would get, yeah, you would die. <laughs> 
unfortunately. Next question.